And I'm back with more Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Almost said Final Fantasy IX. That's gonna happen, I'm sure. Um, our last episode, Mia was killed. And we've met Maya Fey, her younger sister. But she's been arrested and charged with murder. Now, why anybody would think that her own sister would cause the murder when, you know, they're that close, I mean, it is possible, but this is all about evidence, not whether you think somebody would do it. But Phoenix was not tasked with being the attorney. She had the, um, somebody else in mind, so we're going to meet that person. Marvin Grossberg. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. Must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention running an office like this. Guess I'll just have to come back later. Oh, hey! What is it? Did you meet him? Sorry. I haven't seen him yet. I see. I better go see if I can find this. The painting's been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The oil is so thick it's giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at. Just seeing if there's anything here. Doesn't look like it. Aha! Okay. My office is filled with police officers. Hey! This is a crime scene! No trespassing! Uh, sorry, don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? No, Phoenix Wright. I got anyone who mistake me for Larry. Ah, I guess I had the wrong name. Sorry about that. That butts guy, he was a killer. And you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent? Uh, right, and you were... <laughs> Detective Suede Shoes. The gumshoe, wasn't it? Right, at your service. Wait, that's Detective Gumshoe, pal. Anyway, get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick, get over here. Uh, yes, sir. Be right there. Uh, uh, you're her lawyer, right? You got business here. You better do it quick. About Mia Fey, did you do an autopsy? Huh? You want to know the results? Well, no, don't go looking at me like that. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that don't mean you could get any special treatment. Well, all right. You can see it, but that's all. Okay, so time of death, 9 p.m., blunt force trauma, instantaneous. <clears throat> How about Maya? Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, but uh, this is one trial you ain't gonna win. Why do you say that? City's put prosecutor, prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth? I'm sure you know what that means, being a lawyer and all. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you, you, do you know him? Yeah, I know him. He's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel remorse. And he won't stop until we get his guilty verdict. Hey, don't talk about him that way! Make him sound like he's barely human! Still, 
I'm afraid that's pretty much all that decides this case. So Edgeworth's on this one. He hasn't lost a case since he became a prosecutor. Of course, there's a rumor of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. Never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. That's a murder weapon. Huh. Do you have Maya's phone? Oh yeah, I have that. Do you think you could give it back? Sure, I mean, wait, wait a minute. Tricky lawyer. Uh-oh. Okay, I can't be straight. What should I tell him? Something the matter, pal? Oh, uh, that carrying strap on the cell phone. Wait, this says Steel Samurai Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. Steel Samurai? An uh, action show on TV? Yeah, that strap's a collector's item. She was worried she might get lost if it went down to the precinct. That's what she said? Uh, yeah. Okay! I wrote down all the numbers he called anyway. There you go. Didn't seem to notice he re the recorded conversation. I guess I've asked all the questions as I needed to. You done here, pal? Yeah, thank you. I'll head out now. Oh, wait! One more thing I wanted to mention. I don't suppose you're planning on taking and talking to the witness. Well, you better not. No influence in the witness with your lurely ways, pal. Come to think of it, I'd completely forgotten about her. The witness? Yeah, Miss April May. Sorry about this, but I can't tell you nothing about her. Well, you just told me her name, huh? So you sent her home already? <laughs> You trying to learn any tricks on me now? <laughs> she's not going outside her room until the trial. So she's still in the hotel room? I guess I should know better than to get a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal! Well, whoopsie doodles. Gate water. Yay. Now, now, if you want Mousy, there, I mean, oh my god, it's, ugh. Well, hello there, handsome. Uh, hi. Smooth. You're that lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer. <laughs> Memo to sell. Thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. Jeez, this is all like out of a mo- This is all like out of some movie. It's all so exciting. I can hardly contain myself. Let me go freshen up so I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. Pity the lawyer has to cross-examine this guy. Anyway, uh... Well, let's examine that very obvious looking thing in the corner. There's a screwdriver stuck in the drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. <clears throat> hey! What are you doing? No touching! Oh, bad boy! You really shouldn't pry around other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Uh, wow, uh... I wonder what could be inside that drawer.
Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Oh! Observe? Incident? You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with big... vocabulary. Uh, uh, moving on. Uh, you know that thing that occurred, happened the other day? The bad thing? What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it. Well, let me see. How about... Dream on! <laughs> if you want to know, you just have to come to court, Mr. Lawyer. Who exactly are you? Ooh, are you hitting on me? No, 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 I, well, I wasn't looking. No, I, I wasn't. <laughs> you know, you're cute when you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. Uh, right, can you just tell me what it is you do? Well, no! <laughs> And you had your hopes up. Uh, I see there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here? Oh! What amazing powers of observation! You must be one of those famous detectives like on TV. No, I'm just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Detective, why don't you go looking for clues in the garbage, huh? I don't like Mr. Nosy Lawyers. <laughs> <sighs> Fine. Seems like Mr. Grossberg's out. Damn it! <coughs> well, that was the most over the top clearing of the throat. Aha! Uh -huh. So you're the one they say has been looking for me? Uh, yes, it's me. Looks grander than I imagined. That badge you have. So you're a lawyer too, are you not? Yes, well... And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days, so please proceed. Not busy? There's something the matter. You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am. What do you want? Out with it! Well, it's about my effect. Yes, uh, but Maya, go on. <laughs> I'm really quite busy here. I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, quite impossible. Wait a minute. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Uh, anyway... I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry, end of discussion. What's going on? He refused before I even got a chance. What do I tell Maya? How could you just refuse like that? Tell me. Uh, well, I'm busy. But the client is Mia Faye's sister. Uh. Mia trusted you. Yes, I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry. Huh. What? Did you say something? I think not, I said. What? I'm terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their salt will take this particular case. I'm terribly sorry. What? I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could you leave now? I have nothing more to discuss. She worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day quite suddenly, because she had a mission. You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion and never looked back. That's quite a painting. <laughs> you noticed. It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave of the straw hat. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it. 
course. No, I won't sell it, not even to you. I don't have three million. It's not for sale. I'm not buying. Ah, crap. Oh, you're back. Did you find the lawyer? Uh, hmm. Well, I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. What really happened? You don't mean he refused to help. Well, I see. I've been abandoned, then. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing for the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. That thinker clock practically qualifies as a serial murderer by now. So, when did you arrive at the office? It was right around nine. The lights were off and I could smell blood. And then I found her. My sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young, and I don't know where my mother is. No, so she could still be alive. The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say they have a lot of spiritual power running through their blood. So about 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man and he... He, he ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer and left the mountain. So you live by yourself? Yeah, I've gotten used to it. Oh, and I had to become independent or I'd lose my powers. I feel bad for her, all by herself up on that mountain. So, who was the, um, man who ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was this unusual murder case. It made quite a stir, and everyone was talking about it. The police were running out of leads, so they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try and contact the victim. So what happened? The case was solved, we thought. You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. The police's consultation with the medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. But a man found out about it and leaked it to the press told all the papers that my mother was a fraud and the media jumped out and made a big stir. She... She became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse me? White? That was his name. My sister told me. White? Just a little longer before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? I've made up my mind. I'm gonna defend you whether you want me to or not. Huh? Why? Why? Well... No one is sad as a person without any friends. I know. I've been there. A long time ago. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? 
Because someone has to look out for those people who have no one on their side. Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. Right! Thank you! Well, she smiled at last. She's like a completely different person. One last question. You are innocent, right? Yeah! And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So what next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? It was when I tried to look in the drawer. There's gotta be something there. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are... Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment. At your service, sir. Oh, right. I've just come up to deliver room service. Do you know where Miss May is right now? Ah, I believe our guest is currently using the... facilities? If you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Wait. No! Hey! Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait, wait. Come on. Ah, I almost forgot. Ugh. Might I ask you to inform Miss May that she has a message? Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. Oh, uh, right. Sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp? Where have I heard that name? White. That was his name. My sister told me. White was the name of the guy who ruined Mia and Maya's mother? Could it be a coincidence? There's a screwdriver sticking out. Now's my chance to see what's inside. What do we have here? Wiretap? What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? There's definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this? There's a story behind all of this. I know it. Okay. I'll be using this bit in evidence in tomorrow's trial. That's for sure. For Maya's sake. I'll get to this woman's bottom. I'm, I mean, you know what I mean. Oh, bellboy, still there? Uh-oh, time to go. Look forward to tangoing with you, Miss May. In court. Yeah! To be the continued! To be the continued of the thing that I do. Let us save and call it a day. Hooray! Day two, trial. And that'll do it for me. Next time, the trial begins and Edgeworth approaches. Thanks for watching.